So Yvonne, Belinda and I have both come clean about our fish oil levels with the great new test we've got that can actually tell you what your level of omega-3 is in your red blood cell membrane. So no longer do we have to guess when we're recommending fish oil what dosage is ideal. Now you had a great story about your test results. Well, Peter, I am a great fan of fish oil as a lot of my patients will testify to. It's just so important for our fundamental building blocks of our body and ensuring that we're health from a cell, healthy from a cellular level. So I think this test is a great place for everybody to start. Anybody who's interested in their wellness and their longevity, it's a wonderful test. And as you say, it takes the guessing out. So last year I did this test myself when it was first released. Um, and it does test many things. So I'm just gonna show you the headline here, which is my omega index. So you'll see last year I was sitting here at 10.66%. Which is fantastic because you wanna be between eight and 12. So 10, slap bang in the middle is perfect. I'm Japan. So, yeah. <laughs> so were you taking fish oil at the time? I was, I was. I was taking the fish oil that we recommend here in clinic every single day. Um, interestingly, I wasn't eating fish at the time because at the time I'd gone completely vegetarian. Um, and so you can see that my risk of cardiovascular disease, um, brain issues, uh, cell, uh, cellular health joint issues, problems, joint arthritis. problems, inflammation, all of that, so forth, are very, very low because I'm well into the green. What's interesting, Peter, is I stopped taking my fish oil after I did this test because I went back to eating my salmon and my fish every single day, and I do. And, and people might not believe that, but you actually had been eating fish every single day. Every single day, 150 grams a day of good oily fish without fail. Um, I can eat it all three meals. And here's what's interesting, I stopped taking my capsules, I started taking my high quality fish oil and 12 months later I retested. And you can see there was quite a dramatic drop. So from 10.66% to, to say 8%. That's right, so I've dropped, even though I eat fish every day, from very, very low risk of cardiovascular illness and all those other things we mentioned to now being on the border uh, of being at risk of developing some of these illnesses. It's fantastic and great to be able to see. Now, just while we've got the graph there, I will point out that Dana and I, eating fish not every day, but maybe three times a week, we came in at, I think, 5.97. Belinda was just over six. Mm. I'll speak for her since she's not here. So, and that was us thinking that we were getting enough omega-3s from our diet, but nowhere near being in the desirable or the healthy range. So yeah, so we're all back on with our fish oil supplements again. Oh, me too, Peter. <laughs>